Good afternoon all, and today I'm looking at the Avantec 20,000 milliamp hour high capacity external battery pack. And uh, on the back of the box, it says suitable for all devices with a 5 volt charging voltage. It's got two USB output ports. Now these are smart circuits, automatically identifies the device to deliver the fastest charge. There are a couple of little chips uh, next to the USB ports which ensure that the device charging is given the correct current, the chips identify the device. So we have an ultra high capacity of 20,000 milliamp hours, that's 20 amp hours, charges a smartphone multiple times or a tablet twice. You can use both ports together with a maximum current of 4.8 amps simultaneously. Top grade Samsung cells uh, ensure stable output and reliable performance. Now the energy conversion rate is noted here as 90%. I'll take that into account when I measure the total capacity of the power bank. Uh, it comes with an AC adapter and has a built-in LED flashlight. And it's worth pointing out that Avantech is a trademark owned by Claybox Limited. Okay, let's unbox and see what we have. Well, we have the power bank itself, which is white. That's pretty nice. And there's also, for my country, a UK uh, charger adapter. This is DC 5 volts, 2 amps. Also in the box is an Avantec uh, instruction manual for this device, a customer service card, and a USB lead, which is a type A to USB micro. So now to the device itself. Well, on the front, we have a charge indicator, which shows how well charged the unit is. There are four LEDs there. On the end, we have two 2.4 amp output uh, USB sockets. That's the uh, maximum output that I've seen on a power bank, both the same, both smart. So they identify the device. You don't have to worry about which one you plug into which socket. There's an LED flashlight here, and this is the uh, USB micro charge input. Now on the side here, there's a button. If I press that, then the uh, power indicator lights up. Lots of fancy indications there. That looks like it's uh, three out of four. So three quarters charge. That's what you'd expect from a unit that's uh, brand new out of the box. And if I press the button twice, then the LED flashlight comes on twice to turn it off. Now, my favorite power bank at the moment is this EC Technology, uh, 22,400 milliamp hour, but it doesn't have the smart ports. You have to choose between a one amp and a 2.1 amp port to get your device to charge at the maximum rate. And it doesn't necessarily follow that if you put it in the higher current port, you get the fastest charge. Uh, my second favorite unit at the moment is this RAV Power. It's a 15,000 milliamp hour power bank. It does have uh, the smart ports, although curiously they're labeled 2.4 amps and 2.1 amps. Not entirely sure why that is, but they're also labeled iSmart. But I'm thinking that this Avantech could become my favorite power bank in that it has the high capacity, 20,000 milliamp hours, and also these smart charging ports. So let's put this Avantech power bank on charge. I'm going to use the supplied USB cable and uh, power supply unit. So while charging, the LEDs here on the front light up. Now my camera, because this uh, has a very slow refresh rate on these LEDs, my camera makes it look like this pattern is quite irregular. But actually what's happening is these two LEDs at the bottom are solidly on and the third LED there is flashing. So I can see that it's half full. Uh, on its way to being three quarters charged. So I'm going to leave this to charge now for a while and then when it's fully charged I'll run a full discharge capacity check on it using this uh, little USB capacity checker and uh, I'll work out the results based on the conversion from 5 volts which this will check at uh, to 3.7 volts and we'll also take that 90% uh, circuitry efficiency parameter into account. Right, that's been discharging for, well, more than a day. Uh, that's now gone off. 
the power bank's got no energy in it and if I press the little switch nothing's happening so that's completely empty now the discharge uh, total capacity in milliamp hours is stored on here but I can't see it because I've got no power so let's just remove that for a moment and put another power bank in here and take a look at the number and the number is 12,690 milliamp hours but that's not a direct uh, result from the capacity of the batteries. We have to do a conversion. So I'll do that on the calculator now. So I need to take 12,690 and I need to divide by 0.9 to take into account the efficiency of the uh, converter circuitry in here. So that gives me 14,100. Now I need to multiply by five, which is the five volts that I measured uh, using this measuring device and divide by 3.7 which is the nominal voltage of the lithium cells in here and that gives me the result 19054 so it's a little bit low uh, 19,000 milliamp hours instead of the claimed 20,000 but it's not too bad and it is possible that if I ran that test again uh, having already fully charged and discharged this thing I might get a bit more out of it so I think that's a pretty reasonable result so let's now unlock the protection circuitry by putting the uh, power bank back on charge. And there we go. We're charging the power bank back up. So there it is. There's the Avantec 20,000 milliamp hour high capacity external battery pack. I think this now does qualify as my favorite power bank uh, because of the high capacity, the smart ports, both of which are high current 2.4 amps. And full disclosure here, this power bank was supplied to me by Avantec at no cost for this review. Cheerio.